What's up everybody, Sam Smyers here. Today I want to show you to make Turn On The Lights Again by Fred Again and Swedish House Mafia. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please subscribe and also please go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoy this type of content. So this is a really cool song that just came out and I wanted to remake some elements of the drop and some synth elements and then give you this Ableton session for free so you can see how it was made. Let me go ahead and play you part of the remake. And then here's another section that has some more synths in it, or just a pad layer and another bleed layer. All right, so very cool vibe, as you can tell. Let's go ahead and just start with some of the drums. Here are the vocal samples. So the original song was just called Turn On The Lights, and it was by Future. And basically, Fred again took the song and then remade it. So it's called Turn On The Lights Again. So the kick here is just going to be a Murder Beats kick. Let's go ahead and just play that for you. Basically the same rhythm throughout. And then I layered it with another layer. So I just duplicated this kick, cut off the low end, added some heavy compression, and then some room noise. So together. The snare in this song reminded me of a snare that Kanye West uses a lot, and I've heard it in his song Good Morning and also Famous, and it sounds like this. So basically, I just added some overdrive and some reverb, and then I layered that with a rim shot with some reverb, and together that sounds like this. And now for the top loop, in the beginning of the song, you can actually just grab part of that top loop, and that sounds like this. And it's basically a loop that he uses across the entire song. This is a common technique that a lot of people don't really talk about, but you can actually just sample drum sounds directly from songs that you like. If you can find like a clean kick sound or a clean clap or a clean hi-hat, from a song that you like, then you can just sample it and use it for your own productions. It's a lot easier to find isolated drum sounds in an extended mix of a song, but I was able to find just this top loop in the beginning of the track, and it was actually a pretty clean top loop. But of course, if you don't want to use the top loop from the song, then you can create your own. So here is the top loop that I created. And we basically just have our open hat, a shaker, this drum loop here, which is like random percussion sounds. And then there's like this room crowd noise that I hear in the original top loop. And I just chopped that up. And so let's go ahead and just hear the song with that top loop. And after that, we have the crash. And then there's like a downlifter crash that basically goes on for about eight bars. And so that's it for the drums. Let's go ahead and just play all the drums together. And there's a little glue compressor on the drum bus there. Let me go ahead and play you this bass here. Now there's actually a little bass drop that happens in the beginning of the drop. And for those bass drops, a lot of times you can just find a sample. So that's what I did. I found a bass drop sample and then raised that up, transposed it up, and then I made the actual bass synth here in Serum. And then this part where it goes higher, you can hear that wobble sound. So let's go ahead and open up Serum, and basically for Serum, I have two analog BD signs. So if I mute this one, then you don't hear that wobble. And if I turn this one on, then you hear that wobble. And that's because of this fine tuning here. So if I set this to zero, no wobble, but as I raise this up, and that's what creates that wobble sound. And that's because I'm slightly adjusting this oscillator to be out of phase with oscillator A. And then they just start to cancel each other out on different 
parts of that waveform, and that's what creates that wobble. And then there's just a filter here, and a compressor, distortion, some EQ, and then saturation and EQ again, and then a kickstart for sidechain compression. And so here is the bass MIDI just for reference if you wanted to see it. So now let's check out this vocal sample. So I felt like in the original track, he was using some type of vocal sample where it was making like an ooh sound. So I found this one in Splice called Jaeger Vocals Phrase O, and I thought that this worked pretty well. So let me just gonna play this. And then I went into my pitch oscillator section and added on some glides so that the notes glide in between each other. And if you look at my MIDI, that's why I have a note at the bottom here to create that false glide sound. And I do it again for this note. And to create that rhythm, what I did is I had these really short staccato notes. And you could probably use like an LFO type of plugin where you just play the note and then you create this gate sound. But I felt like just doing these staccato notes worked pretty well. And so for the effects, I have the OTT, multiband dynamics, another compressor, some saturation, and some drastic EQing because there's quite a lot of 1K. So I just want to dip that out. Some reverb, and then we have an eighth note echo. And then at the end of the phrase, I feel like he uses some type of filter to filter off those high notes. So I just added an EQ8 and then automated it to take out any low end, so it's just all that top end. One more thing about the automation is that I actually pitch bend the bass at the end of the phrase. And that's gonna be that automation. So now let's check out this bass pad. And that's gonna be the same notes as the bass. And so for this pad sound, I just used a Reese bass preset that has a lot of voices of unison and two oscillators and then the filter. So that's what it sounds like without the filter and cutting off some of the low end. And I feel like at some point they add in a cheesy sounding lead. And I'm not sure what notes it actually plays it might be some type of arpeggio, but I just use the same notes that the vocal sample is playing. And this is just gonna be a saw wave or the default setting oscillator and a filter with a lot of resonance. Using the EQ8 and then an auto pan to pan it back and forth and some reverb. So that's basically it for my remake of Turn on the Lights Again by Fred Again and Swedish House Mafia. I'll go ahead and put a link down below for you to grab this whole session for free. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give a like and also please subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. And finally, if you would like to check out any of my other Serum preset packs, I'll put a link down below for you to grab those as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.